What's going on guys? JNA Exotics back with another reptile room tour for you. This one's going to be from March 2020. Um, a lot has changed. We have new animals. We have uh, new tank setups. Um, this is the third time I've recorded this video. I'm very annoyed about that. I keep deleting it for whatever reason. Um, so let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to start off today with the mossy leaf tail gecko because he's actually visible. He's very cool. Very cool species. Finally able to get a shot of him. He's in a 12 by 12 by 18. To the right of him is uh, three new additions. These guys are baby captive bred emerald tree skinks. Amazing species. Um, there's a second one. Third one's up top. These guys are very fast. <laughs> very cool species though. Very active, fun to watch. Um, not a lot of information about these guys online. I actually went ahead and made a care video myself. So if you're interested and you have the chance to purchase one, I would say do your research and hopefully, you know, if you watch my video, hopefully it makes it a little easier. But such a cool species. They're so hardy too. Very active. I love it. Over here, this is my fiance's beta fish. I don't know if he was in the last video. And I don't know anything about fish, but that's her fish and uh, she named him Finn. Over here, blurry camera. We have Chief, as usual. I'm camera shy, because he goes down. We have, uh, in this tank, we have the Dangerbates Leucomelis. We have three of them in here. Um, they are in an 18, 18, 18. And the tank's doing great. Where'd he go? There's one. Now, the two that we got in September are around the age, or starting to be around the age of, uh, sexual maturity. And I don't hear any calling yet, and they're kind of, uh, on the bigger side, and they're more round. Um, and their body shape is, uh, judging by their body shape and no calling, I think those two are females. Um, still, I don't know how old the other one is that we got from the expo. Hopefully that one's a male, but if not, I am going to probably separate them. Um, put at least uh, one or two of them in a different tank. Um, that way the, there's no ter uh, the females can be territorial. I mean, at the worst, they just eat eggs, each other's eggs, but... I don't want them to stress out. Over here, um, I know we have at least one male, Santa Isabel, because I always hear him calling. Um, is that one? Nope, that's a leaf. So maybe you won't be able to see these guys. Nope, these guys are hiding. But these are the Santa Isabels. Um, great frog. The call is really funny. It's very loud too, but uh, yeah, definitely one male in here. And every time he calls, it's weird. He only calls when he's like up top and I can never get a good shot of it. All right, oh, there is one. Ah, he's into the leaf. I was trying to get a good shot. It's over here somewhere. If I see him again before I move, I'll uh, try to get a good shot of him. Over here are the two, uh, actually, that's a new salamander. Um, this is the yellow spotted salamander. This is a redback salamander. Both native to where we live in Massachusetts. I only have them. Looks like he's got a little bit of poop in there. Gotta change that. I only have these two. Kinda get a shot of him right there. But yeah, I only have these two guys because we've been having some <laughs> strange weather this year I, I can't even explain it and it's winter and like in the weekends it'll be 60 degrees and then it drops back down to 20 and these guys come out when it's warm out and a lot of them are freezing and dying outside because it's getting too cold at night and with these crazy weather changes it's, it's nuts I don't know why it's happening just in global warming I don't know but I captured I, don't, I shouldn't say capture but I temporarily house them and I'm going to let them go in the springtime. That way they don't die. Over here, this is an 18-18-24. 
I'm currently looking for our red eye tree frogs. And uh, I can't find any. <laughs> so these guys called out. Called out of work today. Didn't want to show. Basic setup 18, 18, 24. Not going to be able to see, uh, see these guys today. Over here is another 18, 18, 24. This, uh, this houses are mossy tree frogs. This my uh, paludarium. But these guys are somewhere. There's one. Can't really get a good shot of them. I have no idea where the other one is. No idea. Um, if you can see right here, that little speck on the glass. That's uh, that's a snail. We have like at least 50 snails in here. I don't know where they came from, but they're gonna stay in there. They're keeping the tank clean. Um, they're eating like the dead crickets that fall. I think they probably came with the moss that we put in there. Um, this is our new tank. I just finished this one and moved the. Uh, Adult emerald tree, emerald tree skink in here. This is the Zoomat skyscraper. And there's tape holding the glass in because the front door broke. Awful. But this tank came out awesome. Um, the That's the male emerald tree skink that we have. He's an adult. He's around nine months to a year old, according to the store we got him from. Um, he's kind of destroying it a little bit, like that vine was hung up yesterday and stuff. All real plants except for that vine there and that. Um, these two air plants up here are real. There was an air plant in there. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I gotta find that. Yeah, but he's just climbing, doing his thing. Um, a mother-in-law's tongue or a snake plant. Two dwarf umbrella plants. And we have some California ivy in some spots in the tank. But yeah, the, uh, the door broke in this tank and I couldn't, I needed a, a new door. So I contacted ZooMed and they ended up sending me, they said, buy the glass and we'll go ahead and we'll send you the hinges for free. So I thought that was pretty cool. So the hinges should be in any day now. I already have the glass and they sent me the measurements I needed and everything. So they're a very helpful company. But that's this guy. Again, one of my favorite species right now. I love emerald tree skinks. Such an active species. Um, yeah. This tank took a few days to build. A lot of spray foam. Um, tried to make it look like a... You know, they come from uh, the Solomon Islands. And uh, they come from the rainforest. Well, they're, they're found all over, but um, they're found in like swampy rainforest areas. So I tried to give it a good swamp look for them. And they're in a boreal species. They love to climb. But that's it for this guy. Over here. If you had a dragon, finally got an update. So this is his new tank. He's kind of just roaming around. Now, I could have went and, like, made these, uh, cool cliffs in the background for them and stuff, but the, uh, what is that called? Ah, I forgot the stuff that I used to make it. It's that clay stuff that you buy. I cannot think of it for the life of me. But, uh, yeah, you can, you buy it. It's made, like, by Zoomed or something, and, uh, you just add water and a little bit of sand, and, you know, you put the balloons in, pop them, whatever. I use this hide for this area just because it's a heavier lizard. But, now he doesn't have like a strong upper body. He kind of walks like a hot rod, like his front hangs low and his back stays up high. So I made it just accessible for him. I kept everything low, I didn't want him to get hurt. He loves it, he loves his new tank. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that's about it for this month. What are you doing buddy? I think he wants to get up. One second. What's up? There you go, buddy.
buddy. Yeah, we ended up naming him too. Um, I don't really give names to my reptiles. Because, I don't know, I just never really did it. But uh, we ended up naming this guy Samson. <laughs> just because he kind of he looks like a Samson. He loves to come out too. He actually, surprisingly, my dog gets a lot well with him. And uh, <laughs> they actually cuddle. My dog will go up to him. He'll sniff him. And then uh, he'll go up to him and kind of just relax with him. But that's it for this month. I'm going to double check before I go for the Santa Isabels. Oh, there is one. So I'm going to open the door slow. See him right there underneath the sleeve. Awesome. Just wanted to get a shot of that before I left. But that is the March 2020 update. Um, again, a lot of changes, a lot more changes coming. I don't plan on getting any more new additions. We're pretty much out of room. But I don't know what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> we have uh, reptiles all over the house. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, check out our Instagram. I post there, like I said, more than I do here. But thank you. Thank you for the uh, subscribers. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.